today I'm cosplaying as Himmel, R.I.P. The hero, Himmel. Let's check out some more free run. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel. I promised I would shave my head at 50,000. And I've done that, so I'm bald now. Let's see if we can get 60,000 by the end of the year, 100 by the end of next year. You can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. One thing I'm really excited for is the fact that she's going on this journey 30 years after she went on this same journey. She, we're gonna see that mortality in play. We're gonna see how much people have changed over the last 30 years. The kids she met along the way, adults. The adults she met along the way, older. Any older people? You know, it's gonna be pretty wild. And all the while, she'll remember moments from Himmel that will get her closer to him. I feel like this journey itself will be a way for her to remember Himmel and get closer to him. Kind of remember moments that she looked at as just part of the mere 10 years and they'll just be more important to her. I'm excited for it. Oh, she's happy to go on this journey. Mere 10 year wasn't so fucking mere, was it? Kind of got you there, though. He kind of got you there, though. Yeah. Be a good girl. Or else she'll fucking blast you with some magics. Oh! <laughs> Damn! I mean, I know he liked his spirits, but... I wonder who. Aww. 28 years. Beautiful animation. I love the noise. I like that they added like that film grain, the noise to it. Like how Mushoku Tensei has. Mmm, that sound like a spell, bro. Yeah, that sound like a spell or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I noticed it was kind of foggy. It could be like a, um, I don't know, some sort of like scent or something or like a haze that like causes you to see this shit. You know, a hallucinogen. I'm a good, wait, damn, unlike you, that's a little disrespectful. I like that what they're doing right now is they're kind of like building up a little more of the world, helping us to understand the different creatures, how magic would interact with them, the type of magic or, you know, the type of like what's going on to cause this, you know, I like that. That's cool. No, you can't because it's going to be buddy. Talk, wait, what the fuck? Used to hearing it? What the fuck? Why did her master beg for her life so often? Yeah, I'm saying, what the fuck? Oh, here it is. Look at that. Look at that hazy fog. She's not going to be able to kill homie. The, uh, the drunk priest guy. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Oh, that must be such a great thing to hear. See? It trips you out, lowers your guard. Yeah, it is kind of fucked. Mm. 
Nah, he matters more to her now than her than her master did. Yeah, dude, those 10 years weren't so fucking mere, dude. Oh, we love him. Damn! Okay, wait, hold on. I don't know. If, I don't know if she needed to fucking terraform this mountainside. I don't know if she needed to fucking create new rivers and shit. What the fuck was that? God! God! Okay, I don't know about all that. Was all that necessary? Bro, they don't have like a like a like something to defuse this a little bit, bring it down. God damn, they destroyed this fucking forest. Bro, <laughs> yo, that's wild. Yo, <laughs> they fucked that place up though. Sheesh! <gasps> Dragon! <gasps> Dragon egg? What is that? Oh Grimoire! A solar dragon. So they got different types of dragons. That's kind of cool. A dragon? Nothing. Nothing! Oh, wait. Hey, yo, why is she hiding behind the fucking tree? She's like, oh, fuck. Ugh. Might have fucked up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Plan B. Run. Oh, fuck. Girl, you better fucking dip it. Nah, we ain't doing that shit again. <laughs> Bro, Freerun's been around for a minute. Oh, they got to take on somebody that can beat a dragon. Stark must be the red guy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I kind of knew it was going to be his fucking person, right? This guy stopped having an axe at one point, right? Why'd you stop having an axe? I bet Stark has his axe, right? He said like an axe was too heavy. He switched over to a stick. I think that's the point when he picked up a new apprentice, I think. And uh, that's why he doesn't have an axe. I'd be willing to bet. I'd be willing to bet. Oh, wait, no, that's 28 years ago. Oh, wait, maybe not. I don't know. I feel like he gave the axe to the kid is all I'm trying to say. He had an axe and I was like, oh, he probably gave it to this kid. This kid's probably his apprentice because axe, axe. We already have one apprentice for the priest, right? Like, I kind of figured it was going to be this way. The wild thing is... If we get a Himmel apprentice. Ara, that's what we like to see. Bro, I need that spell for, um, because um, my dream job is to be in the TSA. So I just want to make sure that people don't have like bad items on them. That's all it, that's all it is. Oh shit, that was kind of hard. Yo, he held off a dragon? Do you recognize Freerun? So you're the ones who mess with the dragon. Oops. Oh. What the fuck? <gasps> From the stories? Wait, did he steal the motherfucker's axe, bro? That's wild. Do you think we're afraid of a little bit of sun? <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Let's do it, dude. You know what I'm saying? We got 
I knew it. What the fuck? Bro. Oh no. Oh my god. That's a nice looking cut of meat right there. God. That would be the dragon. Oh. Yo, wait, how strong is Stark? What the fuck? Oof. Oh, interesting. He also ran when, when his village was attacked. Bro! The fucking thing in the mountain is from his axe! What the fuck? Well, that axe looking right too, bro. Ooh. Um. God, I love it, dude. Ah! I love that shit, dude. That's a good one, dude. That's a good fucking A day, I'll tell you that much. All right, guys. Uh, good episode. We get introduced to Aizen's apprentice. So now, our girl's got two apprentices. Aizen is uh the 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 dwarf guy, yeah. But but so this apprentice coward, but strong as fuck. We saw that the thingy was made by him. He was doing the thingy. That's crazy. He's strong as shit. He could probably chop up this dragon if he's fucking up a mountain like that. Though admittedly, our peoples, our mages, they put holes in rocks. So, uh, you know, maybe not so much. I don't know. But but I think she said at some point during this episode that she basically needs 30 seconds to cast a spell and he just needs to hold off the dragon for that amount of time, right? For 30 seconds, right? I think that's what she was say saying. She really wants to get a grimoire. Grimoire with a spell to be able to see through clothing. I feel that, bro. I feel it. I feel that shit. I get it. That makes sense, right? I feel like we all could 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 go for a... I don't know, dude. And that's a fucked up spirit. It, using her own memories against her, that's kind of fucked up. But I think all these different things play into the lore, play into the world building for this series. It makes it a whole a hell of a lot more interesting. And uh, yeah, what'd you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.